Vladimir Gurin the rebound. And Harnish has to forget all about that. 1.40 to go in regulation. Mikhailov looks for Bazarevich. Bazarevich defended by Kai Nurnberger. Gorin from way outside the arc and the rebound grabbed by Christian Velp. Poor shot there from Vladimir Gorin. A metre and a half perhaps outside the arc. That's not what Russia wanted. Nurnberger to Rodel. Christian Velp in the low post. Goes inside. The hook shot misses. And who got the rebound? It's Gorin. And this time Gorin does settle up for playing the half court. Bazarevich in the last minute of regulation. There's nothing separating these teams. Bazarevich goes against Nuremberger and gets his shot blocked and begs for a foul, but none is forthcoming. Here's Nuremberger. Bazarevich was convinced he was fouled then. The referee thought otherwise. 30 seconds remaining in regulation. Michael Jackal. Oh, that's a poor shot from Jackal. Off balance. And now Sergei Babkov calls for what should be the last play for Russia. And there's a foul. Harnish fouls Babkov. And Babkov is on the line for one and one. I remember Babkov was in a one and one just a couple of minutes ago and he missed the first. So perhaps a smart foul from Henning Harnish. Timeout being called by Russia. It's tied up at 68 apiece. And here's a replay of that last foul by Henning Harnish. Coach Pesic issuing clear, crisp instructions. Now, he has a lot to think about here. Babkov misses the first, and Germany should play the last 15 seconds and make sure that Russia don't get their hands on the ball again. If he hits one from the two, then that same situation applies. If he hits two, however, they will need a two-point field goal to take it to overtime. A three-pointer to lead by one. And a little smile, a wry smile on the face of 50-year-old Yuri Selikov, coach to Russia. Been in this situation many times. And the man on the line has been here many times as well. Sergei Babkov, a one-on-one, -on -one, hits the first. Russia lead by one, with one shot to come, 15 seconds in regulation Bavkov issuing stern instructions to his teammates he wants them to rebound just in case Bavkov hits the second Russia lead by 2 70-68 the ball is in the hands of Kai Nurnberger defended by Bazarevich 10 seconds Nurnberger has penetrated twice he goes inside finds Velp who dunks it and there's a foul three seconds remaining it's tied at 60 apiece Christian Velp has one foul shot to come he was fouled in the act of dunking great pass here from Nurnberger finds Velp inside and Mikhailo fouls timeout 3.8 seconds remaining. Christian Velp on the line for one shot. We are tied at 70-70. Look at this pass from Nuremberger. Draws the defense, finds Velp open, who throws it down. Look at the crowd in the background there. Pesic coaches. Now what he has to remember now is that 21 years ago in this very city of Munich the Soviet Union beat the United States with three seconds to go a long pass down court gave the gold medal in the 1972 Olympics here in Munich gave the gold medal to the Soviet Union 
and Pesic wants to talk about it again. He's called another timeout. It's 70 each. Russia against Germany. But Christian Valp is on the line for a bonus shot. Remember, the clock does not start until a player on court touches it. How cool is Christian Velp? Very cool. 71-70. The Russians get the ball in quickly. Going fires up the three. And Germany are the 1993 European champions. They cannot believe it in Munich. Kai Nürnberger celebrates. Henning Harney celebrates with the fans. 71-70. Germany have beaten the overwhelming favourites Russia by one point and that one point was gained on the line by Christian Velp with three seconds remaining. Nürnberger, what a game he had! An amazing game from Kai Nürnberger and the Russians cannot believe the game has slipped out of their hands. Germany who came here as nobody's favourites for any medal and they've won the gold. Coach Pesic is thrown to the air by his adoring players. Svetislav Pesic, the 44-year-old Serbian coach, and the fans are having an absolute ball here in Munich. The last play of the game, Nürnberger goes inside, draws two defenders, Finds Velp, the dunk and the foul. Christian Velp on the line and look at Pesic, the greatest moment of his life so far. Wow, what a game. Sergei Bezarevich there, looks on, can't believe that his team have lost, but what a game from Germany. And the German national anthem celebrates the gold medal. Germany, the gold medalists in 1993 European Championships. Russia, the silver, Croatia, the bronze, and Hansi Gnad, the captain of Germany, stands on the podium. Possibly the most exciting European final in recent years. And there's Hansi Gnad holding the trophy aloft. What a game from the host nation, Germany. A magnificent final. And you have to hand it to coach Svetislav Pesic of Germany. He's given them a self-belief. He instilled an ethic of hard work and that hard work has paid off dramatically. Germany are the 1993 European champions.